hi guys and welcome back to my channel long time no see um i've been a busy gal so i was gonna make a whole another video dedicated to why i was gone but i was like you know what i don't really want another one of those on my channel because then it shows i'm really inconsistent which i mean isn't a lie but basically the reason why i was gone is because usually in the summer i don't wear a lot of makeup and I don't usually have the motivation to because like it's hot, it's muggy, I don't want to feel like uncomfortable with my face, if that makes sense, in the summer. Anyway, and then just on top of that, uh, I was really busy over the summer anyways. So obviously by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my bedroom. So if you're new here, first of all, my name is Corey. I am a sophomore here at IUPUI and last year as a freshman, I lived in a dorm. Wasn't the greatest experience, but also wasn't the worst, so... This year, I get the privilege to live in an apartment. I have three other roommates who are all amazing. And yeah, I don't want to make this intro too long, so let's get started. So right here is the entryway to my bedroom. And when you go to like this left, we have my bathroom. What's up? So right here, I have this... Um, kind of like bowl thing and it has like this flower detailing i actually got this at a vintage store for super cheap there's nothing in it right now so i don't know what i want to put in it so i guess i'll figure that out later over here i just have this chanel kind of um paris landscape type thing going on which by the way i'm gonna say this now all of the wall art in here is literally like downloaded pictures from pinterest and then i printed them out from walmart and eight by tens and then you can get a pack of three frames for like five dollars so luxury on a budget and then right here i just kind of just like sat this clip here one day and i thought it looked cute so it kind of like goes with the aesthetic and then i have this soap dispenser um it just has lotion um even though it's not lotion but this is from marshall's and it was on sale for like three dollars so that's awesome and then I have this little bouquet of flowers that I just had in my home. And then I put um, them in this vase, which I also found. And I have a picture of Caleb. Hello. And then I have a beauty and a fashion kind of like topography. Is that the right word? Topography um, art. And then, oh, actually, right here I have these two cabinets. It's a little messy, but it's not that messy. I'll show you. So I just have like these three, okay, it's actually really messy, but I just have like these three baskets. This one has like extra towels, my hair tools, um, brushes, just random stuff. This has a bunch of random stuff and then this has a bunch of random stuff. So love that. Over to the side here, I just have a trash can and then I have this gold mirrored tray. This just has all of my skincare products on it, which I want to do an updated skincare routine, but... I don't have a tripod so that'd be tricky and then over here i just have this um little quote that says not me but the grace of god within me i thought that was really nice and then i just have a white shower curtain um i didn't want to go too crazy with the shower curtain because i wanted it to seem like bright and um spacious in here i guess but it does have like this um flower print on it so like i don't know so i mean it gives it some character and then over here, I just have this vintage vase that has like these fake rosebuds in them, which I also got from Hobby Lobby. Those flowers over there are also from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have like another kind of like luxury picture. And then this clock I actually stole from my house. It doesn't work and I'm pretty sure it's from Hobby Lobby. And then this white shelf thing I had last year and it's from Home Goods, I believe. A lot of this stuff is like vintage or like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, so I'm going to be saying that a lot throughout the video. And then I just have some dishcloths right here, some towels, and then I have this just little K thing sitting right here. This is from last year. I didn't know where to put it, so it's just chilling there. And then also right here is my shower caddy thing that's supposed to go over the shower head but like look the shower head is like super tall and like the bottom of the shower caddy goes like really short so and then i just have these bath mats they're actually just kind of like a beige tan color and it came with a set of two for like 16.99 i think so it was super cheap so moving on to the rest of the bedroom 
Right here, I have this ladder, which we wanted to do a ladder last year in my dorm, but it's a good thing we did it because it would have been way too crowded. So I just have my purses hanging here. This one is actually, um, it was either my great grandma's or my great grandma's sister. I forget what my mom told me, but it is so cute. And then I just have the purse that Caleb got me and I actually just recently purchased this one. I just have these bathroom hooks on these so I can like hang things. So I got like my keys, that purse is being hung by those. And then I just have um, like my scrunchie scarves and like my regular scarves. And then over here we have my dresser, which is probably like my favorite part of the room. I was worried that like the furniture in here wasn't going to match like my aesthetic, but it works out so right here I have this little um, jewelry necklace display thing that I got a goodwill for literally like four dollars and it's sitting on top of this white rabbit fur that I got from my sister and then my sister also got me this little perfume bottle that is from Hobby Lobby I believe it's so cute and I just have a little perfume here and then these are setting on two books this one I got at a vintage store for like five dollars what a steal and then this one i got from a website called um better world books i believe it's the kevin aquan making faces like beauty book and it was only like four dollars if you want books if you want to decorate with books but you don't want to spend a fortune go to that website because they have a lot of books that are super cheap i got like four of them for twenty dollars plus shipping and then this little mirror thing i stole from my mother thanks mom and then I just have like my pearls hanging on that. On this side, I have this jewelry organizer thing. I got this from a store called At Home. I don't know if it's like a nationwide or like international kind of store thing, but yeah, that's where I got it. It was only like, actually it was kind of expensive for what it is. It was like $15. Actually the price tag's still on it, but I'm not gonna look at it. So yeah, I just have some of like my jewelry hanging on it. And then back here, I have this Cinevogue. Cinevogue? I don't know. But it's just like a magazine cover of Lucille Ball, which fun fact, I used to love the I Love Lucy series. That was like my thing back in the day. And then up here I have three art pieces or wall prints. I have this Vogue cover of Grace Kelly. A lot of people have this one in their room. I thought it was super cute. And then I just have this one of like, you know. <laughs> and then I have this one of... Audrey Hepburn she appears a lot in my bedroom so yes I've actually been like super inspired by her lately which is why there's so many like Audrey Hepburn related things in here so yeah this is like my favorite part and then moving on here we have my bed so this throw is actually from TJ Maxx super cute and then the bedding is actually from Marshalls um it's just like this lightweight comforter kind of quilt Thing. I was just gonna use like the white comforter I had last year, but it got so dirty and it's so hard to clean So I just wanted something like lightweight anyway, and I just have my corner pillow and I have these pillows These two are from last year um, Two of these are from last year and then this one is from a store called Gordman's I don't know if it's like a nationwide store, but it's just kind of like a, Like a home goods or like a TJ Maxx, but it's a little bit lesser in my opinion and then this one is from Hobby Lobby got it for ten dollars okay sorry I moved over here so the lighting would be better but this is probably like my favorite part of my bedroom so this picture here is a scene from breakfast at Tiffany's which yes I have actually seen and it's the scene where she's literally eating breakfast at Tiffany's she's like um kind of just like window shopping just kind of dreaming and she's wearing the iconic dress made by Givenchy I was like I need that so and then to contrast it I just have this um this K something a little bit more minimalistic and then right here we have my nightstand sorry my computer charger is in the way but this nightstand we actually got for like thirty dollars at a vintage store and it had uh, some knobs that i didn't really like and i wanted it to be more like vintagey so i bought these ones from hobby lobby they were actually cast iron i believe and so i just spray painted them gold to give them like a kind of like a a rustic vintage vibe i don't know and then on top here i have another gold mirrored tray and i have this vase and these flowers which are both from hobby lobby i thought these are so cute and then i have a picture of ricky right here and i have this 
cross thing that one of my roommates found and I just kind of kept it because I don't know it was kind of comforting to me and then I have this lamp which I just stole from home I have this um, note and Polaroid of Caleb the note he gave me obviously and I just keep it there because I wanted something cute on my nightstand if you feel I have this this is actually a cutting board and I got this at TJ Maxx by the way and it has like these gold feet which are so cute but I just wanted something to kind of like protect this so like when I set drinks on um, when I set drinks on it it's not gonna ruin like this top down here I have this little decor thing if you've seen my dorm video from last year you would know that this was yellow and so I spray painted it white and then this is just like a Steve Madden shoe box and then I have my favorite heels right here they're actually slightly too big on me so I don't wear them a lot so I thought you know what why not just display these so I have them right here and then I made this kind of like floral arrangement and these are all from Hobby Lobby as well and then I just wrapped them in like craft paper and like tied it with twine to make it look kind of like oh I went to a flower farm kind of vibe um this mirror is from last year and on it is this kind of like white crate thing I also had this from last year but I don't know if it appears in my dorm video but we got that at home goods and then my mom got me this um little picture thing also from that place called Gordman's it says Paris is always a good idea and it is said by Audrey Hepburn and then right here I have this little love thing which is from Hobby Lobby my sister gave that to me and then I have this um, I was gonna put rings on it but I really don't wear a lot of rings so I just have that here this is from home goods I think and then right here I have this magazine rack it's so cute sitting on top of it I have my Polaroid camera picture of Audrey Hepburn and then this vase I actually spray painted and I stole from my house and then I just have like a couple magazines and books here I've got like Vogue magazines um, Audrey Hepburn book little black dress book um, this is actually a Bobby Brown like beauty book and then we have uh, the Gospel According to Coco Chanel. This one is um, How to Be Lovely by Audrey Hepburn. And then this one is Hashtag Girl Boss. And it's by that, um, the lady who founded Nasty Gal. Which I got like, like all of these books right here on that same website called Better World Books. But this one I got from a vintage store, super cheap. And I got that one from Home Goods, also super cheap. And then right here I have like my desk, aka mostly my vanity. I have this, this is technically a file organizer, but it matched perfectly with this, so I got it. This is from TJ Maxx. And I just put all of like my makeup palettes in here, my um, headband. I have some metal straws right here, some beauty products. It's a little disorganized, not as aesthetically pleasing, but it's fine. And then I have my brush holder, a couple sponges, and then I have my actual makeup thing. Oh, let's shut this. I have my actual makeup thing, which if you want an updated makeup collection, I will do that. But it's not that interesting. It's like it hasn't changed that much, you know? And then I have a picture of me and my mother. And then before we get into the closet, I have this thing right here. This is um, obviously like a wall hanging vase thing I got this at a thrift store for five dollars and then the flowers are from Hobby Lobby and then finally let's get into the closet so interesting so I just have like a bag of random stuff right there I have my laundry hamper my slippers which are not in place and then I have my suitcase and then there's like an umbrella back there too and the way I organized my closet was by clothing type and then by color. So I have like all of my jackets color coordinated, all my long sleeves, short sleeves, tank tops, dresses, skirts, things like that. And then up here is where I keep my shoes, which I actually don't wear a lot of shoes. I wear shoes with like multiple outfits, so like it's not that big. And then I just have my robe hanging right here. I put like a little command hook thing right here. It's so cute. It's like a little diamond. So that is it for my bedroom tour. I might do a full on apartment tour. It depends. Our living room and things like that are like 
in the process of getting cute so we'll see but i definitely want to keep making college related content i'm not sure about beauty right now because i haven't like been in it for a while thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time and not in three months bye